Seriously. I want to know where this came from. Have I done any of it? Oh yeah. I started this one. Hey guys, it's Ellie and I am officially on winter break from college. Woot! Which is why I am home. Recently I've been cleaning out my room, going through some old stuff, which is why I'm wearing green pants that I recently discovered that I own and still fit. Love that. But also while doing it, I came across this. And this is my the very first purse I ever owned. I've had this thing forever. Because my time capsule video was so weirdly popular for some reason, I thought, hey, it's time I clean this out and probably get rid of a lot of the stuff that's in it. So let's film another one. And things are falling out of it. Let's go. So this is the purse itself. It's like a crossbody shoulder bag thing. And I specifically remember I got it for Christmas from my aunts. And when they were trying to like ask me about things and colors that I liked, I answered with random. Very helpful, I know, but I really think they pulled through on the randomness of it all, so I'm actually quite proud of that. But the first thing in this bag that has fallen out of it into my lap is a barf bag. We love having barf bags around. Good times. Off to a good start. So then, within it, because it like has a velcro flappy thing, it's all gold and sparkly too. Ah! The first thing in it is really old word find Christmas puzzles. Hold on. I'm like bent. It has my mom's phone number written on the inside of it, so this was clearly around the time that I was trying to learn phone numbers, because I wrote them everywhere. Why have I not done this? It's like the perfect season for it, so... And there's also a healthy mind, word find puzzles. Keep your brain fit while having fun. Something tells me that this is what came along with me, and most of it's empty, too. Like, uh, I haven't done most of it. Oh yeah, I've done a few of them. Four or five of them. But I feel like this is what came with me whenever we were flying somewhere on vacation or something. And this was like my how to keep Ellie busy in an airport book. Let me tell you, I have some pretty dumb stories about airports, and if you ever want to hear those, you'll lose all sense of respect you may or may not have had for me, but that's okay. Next up is a bag of tissues. I have an entire bag of tissues. Nailed it. I have tissues in pockets of everything, honestly. I also have um, this empty thing that I thought was a checkbook holder, but I think it's supposed to like hold cash or something. And then there's just like little, little pockets. I don't know. I don't know where I got some of these things, but I'm sure I probably looked at it and went, wow, that's really like adult. And I feel really mature carrying around my like $2 in this. I was a unique child. We have some lotion and it is like an almost it's Christmas lotion. It's like the perfect time for doing this. That smelled like childhood. I'm just gonna uh, use some Oh, it's less less full than I originally thought. It just had a lot of air in it that do you ever smell something and it like instantly takes you back to when you were a child if you're wondering what the little like floaty thing that's happening there is it's some streamers that are hanging off my bulletin board and you're just looking at the shadow next up in here is a bag of change i wonder how much this is in case anyone was wondering it was a dollar and nine cents Oh, oh, a dollar, what is this? A dollar and 19 cents. 
Why do I have two wallets? Oh, oh. This was the first one that I ever had. The first, like, wallet. And then when I was older and I got my first phone, if you guys have seen my pilot, it's the slide phone. That one. So then I had this wallet and it has the little phone pouch. Like the little magnet. And so I would put my little slide phone in there because it fit and it was super cute and I was in love. I don't think there's anything in it, like, at all. It still has the original, like, tag. So I think, honestly, I just used this to carry my phone around. I'm so extra. Why do I have so many things as a child to carry money that I didn't have? I had a whole dollar and 19 cents. A band-aid. There's at least one $20 bill in this wallet right now. My cousin's senior pictures. This was 2013. That shows you how long it's been since I've used this wallet. This really important piece of paper with my name on it. A permanent ID card? What? I don't know. I think I just kept it around because it was gold and it made me feel like a grown up with a credit card. Huh. <laughs> Hello? Monopoly money? Is that what's happening? This is one. What kind of money is this? It looks like actual uh, money, but I don't know what kind it is. If you know where this is from, uh, could you could you enlighten me, please? Because I want to know where I have one dollar from. I also have this one hundred dollars. And I'm fairly certain that I stole from a game of Monopoly at one point because it's uh, it's definitely not a real $100. Oh, there's more change. Hold on. Hey, there's actually some quarters this time. Uh, I'm not going to count it again. 60, 70, 80, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Another 87 cents. Vital. And then the, the compartment that I'm most interested about Six ones and a twenty. How long has this been in there? I feel so rich right now. Like I'm, re I might get sushi for lunch. I, I have so much money. What is happening? I also look kind of funny filming because I'm surrounded by stuff right now. Let's see. I think this bag. Oh. There's a little zipper pouch, so we'll see what's in this little zip. Bag of tissues, always essential. A bag of pink tissues? The best part is, I know where this bag is from, because that is the same brand as my trumpet. So this bag had my like trumpet cleaning cloth in it. Some bubble yum chapstick. And a lot of gum. They're all different kinds, too. This is, like, the little stick kind. This is the big stick kind. And this is the, like, push tab kind. I want to know when I, when the last time was that I actually, like, used this purse. Because seriously. This is ridiculous and also hilarious. It was time to finally clean this out. I have successfully made a mess all over my floor. So, I think that counts as a su successful thing to do. Yeah. So, if you guys want to see my Thanksgiving break video, you can click up here. I know that it came out on Christmas and not Thanksgiving, but I intended to have it all ready before I had to, like, delve into finals, and I didn't, and finals kind of swamped me, so I got really behind on editing. But make sure to subscribe if you guys want to see more of my content and random things that I find in my room that is just chock full of it, honestly. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me, and I'll see you next time.